everyone, it's Ruby here and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now in today's video, I finally get to share with you a product that I've wanted to showcase on my channel for the longest time now. And the product that I am talking about is the Dr. Jart Sikapair Dermal Green Cure Solution. Now you're probably looking at the title of my video with judgy eyes and you're like, come on Ruby, clickbait, really? Well actually, word for word, what you see in the title is printed on this product's packaging. It says here that this is a rest and cure solution for irritated skin, that it protects the skin and covers blemishes and it has an SPF of 30. Now it also says in fine print on the back that the Dr. Jart advanced technology helps to soothe sensitive and tired skin resulted from stress and external stimuli and strengthens skin's barriers. For me, I feel like a little product in a jar with this many claims, this is huge. Depending on what part of the world you are from, it could be called something along the lines of the tiger green balm cure solution. I don't know, there's green in it and there's tiger in it. I'll leave the correct name on the screen and also down below in the description box. Now, as soon as I got this product, I ripped it open because I was like, surely it's not actually green. Well, in fact, in case you were wondering, look at how green this product is. Is this going to transform into my own unique shade of beige, of skin color? I'm not giving you guys the bird. Can you just, can you see how that's going white? Like, is it supposed to do that? I don't know. But if you guys want to find out, then please keep on watching. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can stay up to date with future uploads. All right, let's see if this guy can not only conceal the redness that I have in my skin, but I do have a handful of giant pimples that I need to see if this can cover. So keep watching. So this is what my skin looks like without any makeup on. The only place I have makeup on is my lips, eyes, and brows. But my skin is completely bare, so you can see that I have a tiny bit of redness and a few blemishes that I need to conceal as well. As of lately, I've also been suffering with sensitive skin and I think it's because I've been trialing a bunch of new products on my channel for you guys. So let's see how this guy fares on my skin. So I'm taking a synthetic concealer brush and using this brush to transfer product from the actual packaging onto my skin. Now you can probably tell from the look on my face that I don't know how much to use. Is this too much? Is this too little? The packaging actually says use a proper amount. I don't know what a proper amount is. So here I am just trying to figure life out. So on one side of my face, I am using my fingers to blend out the product and it actually feels like a mud mask mixed in with a super rich moisturizer. It's kind of sort of weird. Don't get me wrong, I have bone dry skin and I welcome, you know, really thick and rich moisturizers and I often use them every day on my daily basis, but this just feels a little heavier and for some reason, a little bit grittier. It's so strange because once I start blending the product in using my fingers, it gets smoother and smoother and it melts into my skin and then it slowly transforms into my own unique shade of beige. It is so strange, it is so weird, but I do have to admit that this is taking a lot longer than I expected, like I would have blended out my foundation by now and well and truly have been up to applying my concealer underneath my eyes. So yes, this is taking a little bit longer, but what I have realized is trying to blend this product in circular motions like it is a moisturizer isn't going to work. For some reason, if you were to press this product into your skin like I'm doing right now, it blends it out with ease. So I just wanted to quickly see and get it out of my system. Like a synthetic blending brush that you use with your foundation would work on this product right here. And it just doesn't work. It actually eats the product up. It's stuck inside the brush. And for some unknown reason, it transforms very quickly on the bristles, but it's still like a pale pastel green on my skin. So what I'm going to do now is reapply some product onto my skin using that concealer brush that we used earlier. Now I'm just going to pop a little bit on and then use my fingers to pat it in like I showed you before. So as you can see, this is quickly transforming this product from a pale green to a white, and then it's slowly going to transform into my own very unique shade of beige. 
So after I'm done patting everything in, I'm literally just going to jump onto applying my concealer just underneath my eyes. I'm not going to pop on any concealer on my blemishes because I do want to see how this product wears over my skin. It does say that this product conceals blemishes. So let's see for how long, right? One thing I do have to mention is that my concealer actually blended out a lot easier over top of this treatment compared to my usual foundation, which I was so surprised and actually pleased about. So Dr. Jack claims that this product works well both on its own and underneath foundation and makeup. So I'm just using my usual setting powder, which is the Chanel Universal, just to mattify and smooth and set everything down, just so we can see how long this product will last on my skin without any touch-ups. So I'm just going to highlight my face as per usual and also contour before I actually go out into the world and trial this foundation out. And this is what the product looks like with some makeup over top. As you saw, I didn't apply any concealer over top of my blemishes. I just want to see what the lasting power of the Dr. Jart Dermal Green Cure Solution is. So I'm going to check in in about eight to 10 hours time and let you know how this product will. Hey guys, I am back and it has been a full eight hours probably a little bit more leaning towards like the eight and a half, nine hour mark. I wasn't really keeping track. Um, so this is what my skin looks like. And the surprising, frustrating and annoying part about this is that the product wore really well on the areas that weren't my problem areas. So, you know, it wore really well on my forehead, underneath like my eyes and on my cheek area here, on my chin and my nose. But the product just kind of disappeared um, like on top of my problem spot. So around about the four or five hour mark, um, you could see my blemishes. Um, there's hardly any product left on like my cheek and jaw area. And that is probably like the most frustrating thing. So the four to five hour mark is when like the makeup on this area started to disappear. And I'm thinking maybe I should have powdered it more. Maybe should I have worn a primer? I don't know. It's really frustrating because they don't tell you what this product is and they don't tell you how much of it to use. So the directions on the back say use a proper amount which is so strange because I don't know what a proper amount is because I don't know what your product is. Um, you know, my skin felt really good. Um, it looked really good, you know, up into the four, five hour mark. It looked like I wasn't wearing any makeup, but my skin and my complexion was so even. Like, it doesn't feel like I've got makeup on. I know that I said early on in the video that the product felt very gritty, like it was a mud mask mixed in with like a really rich moisturizer, but it actually wore very comfortably on the skin. Um, so I'm thinking maybe I did something wrong and I don't know, like, but the product disappeared. So I was thinking maybe if you do wear this product to then go over top with your concealer that you use for blemishes, something that's full coverage and long lasting and oil free. But I am a little bit disappointed because the label does say that it covers your pimples and your acne and your blemishes and all that. I am disappointed with the way that it performed coverage wise, but I have to remember that this is like a hybrid product. It's both skincare and makeup. Um, and maybe I was expecting too much as well. So I know I kind of sound scattered, but yeah, would I use this product again? Definitely, but I would pop it under my makeup. So I would pop it under my everyday foundation. But overall, I'm really surprised with how it wore everywhere else. It's very smoothing, it's very skin-like, it's giving me a really nice glow. Um, it really does look like skin and it really does feel like skin. The only makeup that I actually feel on my face is my brow gel, which is really strange. Everything else, like it feels like I've got absolutely nothing on. It's so strange and mind-blowing at the same time. In regards to like the skincare aspect of this product, I feel like using it for one day isn't enough for me to see if it has improved my skin's barrier and sensitivity, I think this is something that I'll need to trial over a month, maybe even two months. If you guys are interested, I can report back to you. Just let me know in the comment section down below if you are interested. Um, I'll use it as often as I possibly can 
um, and to let you know, you know, how my skin feels and stuff like that. So please let me know down below if you are interested and I can report back to you guys once again. But other than that, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope that you found this review really helpful and this demonstration really helpful. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so by hitting the subscribe button down below and also that notification bell so you can be notified every single time I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. I love and adore each and every one of you and I look forward to seeing you all in a brand new video next week. I love you guys. Bye.